Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start our information. These are some updates on the NAR. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search dinaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, dinar opinions, and dinar guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. Emo a lot of promises were made by Sadani in Davos. Today Sadani uses more new words to describe to the citizens that the time to wait for the reinstatement of their currency and new exchange rate is shorter than it's ever been before. It's shorter than a step stool with the legs of a corgi dog, these are exciting times. I know that rates on the dinar and the dong, specifically are populating on the back screen. The Redemption Center, the Redemption Center screens for dinar and dong were $4 to $5 higher on each currency just on the front screens. 90% of Iraq's exports are in oil. Remember Iraq wants to be competitive in the trade market. Increases in their exchange rate would cause the items they are exporting to go up in cost. Since 90% of the exports is oil, this is different, an increase in Iraq's exchange rate could lead to a stronger Iraqi dinar relative to other currencies. This would mean for each unit of oil sold, Iraq would receive more foreign currency. Iraq's revenues from oil exports could potentially rise. So they can increase their exchange rate and what they could do to balance that. Increase in their exchange rate is either increase or decrease their oil production, we also know their foreign currency reserves have increased to $115 billion. Increasing the exchange rate would also increase their currency holding, which is good because they can us that to protect the Iraqi dinar. Increasing the exchange rate would benefit Iraq big time. The central bank said in a letter addressed to the banks, and seen by NRT Arabic, that for the purpose of organizing financing operations for requests to enhance external balances, it was decided to implement the new requirements and mechanisms starting from March 1, 2024. He added that banks wishing to enhance their balance with correspondent banks and all currencies should appoint an external auditor for the purposes of reviewing transfers in advance of the process of sending transfers. Banks wishing to enhance the balance must provide us with information about the names of the companies they wish to contract with within a maximum period of February 29, 2024.